Welcome to the tutorial on creating QR codes using the website qrstuff.com. First thing you will need to do is open up a web browser and put the address in the address bar. The address www.qrstuff.com. Once you're at QR Stuff, you will notice there are a lot of things going on. You have many different data types that this particular website will accept. Let's start at the top and work our way down. The first data type is a website URL. You've been studying something particular in class and would like your students to be able to have a quick reference. You're going to put in the website as a reference that they'll be able to access at a later time. We would like our students to have Math Forum as a reference point if they get stuck when working on homework or have questions as they prepare for tests. We will copy the website URL and we will paste it. And now if you'll notice on the right hand side you have a new QR code that has been created. What you need to do is download this QR code and once the download is complete, you can then use that QR code in any documents that you create. The next option of data that you can create a QR code for is a YouTube video. You have two options, the video ID or the video URL. Find the video that you have been using. I will copy the URL and I will paste it. You have the option to embed the URL as is, or you can use a shortener. If you look at the QR code on the right, you'll notice the longer the information is, the tinier the dots are, and the more congested your QR code is. Once you've selected, you will then download the QR code, and again, you'll be able to use this image file in any document that you create. The next option for creation is a Google Maps location. If you already know the latitude and longitude, you can place those in the boxes. Or you can simply search for a location. Once you have your location exactly as you would like it, then you can download your QR code. Other data types, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, Foursquare, the App Store, iTunes, plain text, if you would just like to have a message in your QR code. Simply type your text in the box. It will create your code and of course download it. Other types of data include phone numbers, information for Skype, texting, email addresses and email messages, contact details, events. These are all things that you may wish to put into a QR code. Thanks for watching this short tutorial on QRStuff.com.